Hello there. God bless you. I'm reading from the book of 1 Kings chapter number 5 and verse number 4 in the King James Version. But now the Lord my God had given me rest on every side so that there is neither adversary nor evil occurrence. Today I'm going to be talking about having dominion over evil occurrences. A lot of times we come to this understanding after witnessing some disappointment and a lot of hard aching issues and we begin to think it's normal to have evil occurrence. Uh, some people even come to say you can't get good things from God. and uh, No, God wants you to believe one way faith that you can have evil occurrence. Say the thousands of fall by your side, 10,000 by your right and it will not come near you. So you must learn how in your faith to have dominion over evil occurrence. What I'm talking about is simple. You're never going to die in a fire accident. No, you're not going to lose your life to uh, a plane crash. Evil occurrence, an earthquake is not your portion. So God wants you to have dominion over the thought, to not talk of evil the acne. So evil occurrence is not permitted. And this scripture is saying the Lord God wants to give you rest. Why others are suffering and they are crying, you will be laughing. So dominion begins by understanding that God will not bring restlessness case into your life. Rather, he wants to give you rest on every side. Either in your finance, in your relationship, physically, spiritually, mentally, God wants to give you rest. And your faith has to be connected to the word of God. You have to have faith to believe God for dominion over evil occurrence. So, this is what God is saying. There will not be any evil occurrence in your life until you are old. And then, your faith must be activated to see that your God will keep you from falling. It will keep you from your enemy asking where is your God. God is going to keep your children. You won't bury your children. I like to say that again. You will not bury your junior one in the name of Jesus Christ. So you need to understand that your God wants to give you rest on every side. In Proverbs chapter number 21, verse number 31, in the Passion Translation, I said, you can do your best to prepare for the battle, but the ultimate victory comes from the Lord God. So God wants to give you the ultimate victory of dominion over evil occurrence over evil happening, over natural disasters. So you must stop expecting that one bad thing is going to happen. It's never going to happen to you because God has given you dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the things that creep it on the hand. So you must keep Trust in God that you are safe. And the Bible said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. One major secret of uh, deliverance and dominion over evil occurrences is to keep using the name of the Lord. He said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. So your life is safe. Your kidney will not pack up. You won't wake up one day to lose your memory or to lose your eyes. Evil occurrences is not permitted. We are afraid. Is activated towards dominion over evil occurrences in your family. Your children will not die young. <laughs> That's what it means to activate your dominion over evil occurrences. And it doesn't just happen uh, by chance. You have to make a choice that you are having dominion over evil occurrences. The element of the earth, the sun, the moon, and the earth. They are listening to you in the heart of your heart. You must learn how to open your mouth to take your dominion over evil occurrences. I'm never going to die in plane crash. I won't die by motor accident. I'm never going to die in a surgery room. These are definite dominion statements that must constantly come out of your mouth. And I'd like you to write it under this video. I have dominion over evil occurrences in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Amen.